Well, no two athletes' paths are alike, and for former Pleasant Valley basketball star Will Carius, he may have one of the most unique career paths we've ever seen an athlete take to get to the Division I level. Dustin Nolan has our story. And I always figured I'd pick one school, be there for four years, and then it would just be like the normal, stereotypical college experience. It's been far from normal for Will Carius. It's been a wild ride over his basketball career. It's been a hard transition from going further away from home, from closer to home, different responsibilities in both scenarios. The former Pleasant Valley star began his career at Division II Northern Michigan. But after Will's mother, Elizabeth, passed away, he decided to transfer to Division III Monmouth College to be closer to family. It would be in a single parent with the past of my mom. Um, I really wanted to be there to help support him and just help support uh, my brother and sister as well. For Carius, the support he gave his family was something he found he needed in return. Yes! The comfort of being close to home, close to your family, close to that uh, lifeline that you have whenever you need it. And that support system that he got from his family off the court started to show on him. <laughs> Carius quickly became one of the best players in the country playing for the Scots. I had always dreamed about when I was little getting to play in college and have big games like uh, I did my junior year. The six foot seven four not only was named All American his junior year, but set single season scoring records for Monmouth College on top of the most points scored in a game with 62. And it really fulfilled some of those uh, goals that I had set for myself and some that I didn't hadn't even thought. I could achieve and weren't possible. Paving the way for a monster senior season at Monmouth College. Curious, willing the Scots to a 6-0 start, their best in decades. Started off uh, without a hitch, honestly. Started where we left off my junior year. Averaging over 27 points a game, seemed like everything was falling into place. <laughs> but Curious' senior season was quickly cut short when he tore his meniscus in the sixth game of the season, ending his year at Monmouth College. It was stressful because I know it's my senior year and everyone wants to have a great final year. Luckily, Carius hadn't played more than six games, which is the NCAA's cutoff to be granted an extra year of eligibility, so now Carius gets one more chance to play a senior year. It was a big uh, sense of relief when I got that back saying I could have my year back. I'm just happy to have this second chance and I'm really looking to make the best of it. And through this second chance, Kyrgios has decided to leave Monmouth College, where within just an hour of posting his decision on Twitter, he started receiving calls from college coaches trying to get him to come play for them. I was actually really surprised. I didn't expect the attention that it drew. Over 20 schools wanted Curious to bring his talents to their campus, but in the end, he decided to continue to stay close to home and chose Western Illinois University, where he will finally get to live out a dream of playing Division One basketball. I mean, ever since I was little, that was my goal to do. I think it'll help propel me and really um, kick in my competitive attitude and just uh, be ready to play as hard as I can for this last year. Completing the hat trick of playing at every level of the NCAA, Division Three, Division Two, and finally playing Division One, being able to show everyone he belongs at the highest level. Really showing what I can do at the Division One level, um, showing what I thought I could do the whole time. This is Dustin Nolan reporting. Well, Carius, an impressive young man indeed.